Today on Dylan Talks Tone, we're going to talk about how to ship a guitar. How's it going? My name is Dylan and this is Dylan Talks Tone and you know on this channel we do all kinds of tone, guitar related stuff, how to's and this and that and today we're going to talk about how to ship a guitar. It just so happens that I sold this and so we have to ship it off halfway across the country and this is always kind of a controversial thing because everybody wants to blame the carrier. I hate FedEx, I hate UPS, I hate the mail, blah 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 blah, whoever it is because they always damage their stuff. It is my opinion that you can ship a guitar reliably. We do it all the time and there's a lot of people that do it. So I'm gonna show you a couple of things that I do to make it to where this guitar can ship. Okay, so let's talk about shipping a guitar. So obviously we have a guitar in a case. Um, this is a Telecaster, it's the right case for it, so it fits, everything's good. We're going to talk about why guitars break when you ship them. It's because they move. Either the guitar moves in the case like this, or back and forth this way. Basically the reason stuff breaks when you ship it is because it's not packed tightly in here. Now this is acceptable for carrying a guitar around town, but when we ship it, it can move back and forth like this right and that is why stuff breaks then once the case is closed and moving back and forth inside the box then other motion can happen we don't want anything to move we want it to be nice and tight but we don't want it to be so tight that we put undue pressure on any one part of the guitar now the thing i'm going to say about this is the reason i believe that most people have trouble shipping guitars is because they cheap out on the materials that they use to ship the guitar. Buy shipping material. It is worth the investment so that you don't have to worry about it. Use proper shipping material, like really good stuff. Um, the main thing is the box. Use an actual designed for guitar case box. Don't make your own um, out of you know pieces of boxes and tape it together but like this box we buy these boxes and they're not cheap they're like ten dollars a piece it makes it to where everything works together correctly and it fits together so let's go ahead and pack this thing up okay now there's some things we've done here we've got bubble packing now see this can still move we're not good yet. I don't like this. What we don't want to do is put so much stuff underneath the peg head that when we close the case, we put tension on the guitar, okay? But what we don't want it to do also is move back and forth. So we've got to pack stuff in there correctly. Now the reason I've got this stuff sticking up is because when we close this case, watch what will happen. All right, so now we've got the case all buckled up. Now this, this is what I do. What I'm trying to do here is move the guitar back and forth inside the case. If I cannot move the guitar this way, this way, or back and forth this way, what basically happens is we have a guitar that does not uh, move inside the case. A couple of things I want to talk about here. I left it strung. I do not de-string them. I do not take the tension off. The guitar is designed to be under tension just like that. If you pack it properly and the guitar is not moving around, there's no reason why that will hurt it. You can comment below if you want to fight me about that, but I've been doing it this way for years and many, 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 many people do it this way. There are some guitars that I would actually never, ever recommend to ship unstrung. I would never ship a Gibson unstrung. I know that sounds backwards, but the guitar is designed to be under tension and it's not that much tension, okay? Somebody needs to tell UPS this because they argue with me about this every time I ship a guitar and I do this every week. Let's go ahead and put it in the box. All right, so let's put this thing in the box. This is something that I really feel strongly about. We don't want to cheap out on packing materials.
before we put the the guitar in the box, uh, one of the things I like to do, let's throw this aside, is we order Gator cases because they have lifetime warranties. I don't know if you knew that or not, but like if you buy a Dylan custom guitar, it comes in a Gator case. If you ever have a problem with the case, we can address it. So here's the case. The guitar doesn't move in there. Everything looks good. They come in a plastic bag. So I actually like to put the, the guitar back in the plastic bag. And as I do this, I'm moving the guitar around to make, I'm double checking to make sure that the guitar is not moving in there as I move it around. Take a piece of bubble wrap, I put it all the way on the bottom. I just let it fall down there. I take the handle side, so this is kind of important. You have the handle side of the case and you have the hinge side of the case. I take the hinge side of the case and put it against the outside of the box. And put this in together. Like this. Chase it down there. See like that? Otherwise it gets hung up on the handle. Then, once this is all like that, once all that motion is gone, tape up the end of the box. That is exactly what we're looking for. Nice tight inside there, the guitar is tight in there. But we've not put any undue pressure on the guitar. So the guitar is sitting in there like in a suspended state in the case, but it's not wiggling around. And then this is not wiggling around inside here and we can ship it exactly like this. Now I usually ship UPS. You wanna make sure that when you do it, that it is taped up correctly. And I also say, always ensure everything. Here's the thing about this. If you do this right, it means that you have to spend some money. There's about $20 in packing material in this shipment before I ever even ship it, but I'm not worried about it. And if you're shipping a guitar, you don't wanna to have to worry about it. Most of the time when we see people have problems with shipping, it's because they're cobbling together boxes, they're not using enough packing material, they're overpacking things. When you see peg heads broken off and necks broken and stuff, that means that they are ramming it in there so tight that you're putting so much tension on everything. And then when somebody drops the box or whatever, uh, so a lot of times, and, and that's the other thing, is if you see a lot of damage to the box on the other on the receiving end of it, obviously you know to look. But sometimes because you've packed it wrong, you can have no damage to the box and have the guitar ruined. And so that's why we take the extra steps and the a little bit extra money to ensure that our guitars ship safely. My name is Dylan. This has been Dylan Talks Tone. This is how we ship guitars. This is how we do it. If you have any questions about this or anything else having to do with guitars, you can leave it in the comments below uh, and we will make a video just for you. Check us out on our Monday Night Live show on Wednesdays and on Fridays where we always have a video, something to do with guitars or something to do with music that I think you'll really dig. Have a good one.